Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Andernos Les Bains, close to Arcachon, south of France. And this is Kusum Three Cushion Challenge Cup, Group F. Jeremy Bury just finishing his last practice shots against Jakob Hack Sørensen and Peter Debacker. We saw this yesterday, yes. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty tough sets. Uh, Hack Sørensen a little bit unlucky. He could have won more sets, so it would have been, could have been even more equal this group. But I'm looking forward to really interesting fight here today, especially the two leading players. They were involved in some kind of a safety battle yesterday. Uh, one set. Jeremy was playing safety to Peter and the, the next set the other way around and Jakob was not really taking part in the in the defensive uh, game and uh, yeah, kind of he stranded on nine and eight a couple of times I think he missed a total of three or four set points. Buri started really well yesterday he he had a good good start. Uh, he won three of the four, first four sets and looked like he was kind of running away with the, with the whole match, but it's definitely not looking like that anymore. So here is a good chance for Jakob Hack Sørensen from Denmark. He can start set number nine out of 24. Eight today and eight tomorrow. Looking a little short, this one. You don't really want to score on the short side, but this time he's okay. This is a good position. This one, always a little bit more spin than you think. These tend to go short all the time. For me, that is. Perfect position now for Jakob. Five cushions here, a little bit thin on the yellow, but that's good because then it cannot come back and kiss on the white. Did he hit it thin enough? Nope. Yeah, that was a good chance there to make even more points. And now he, as I said before, he does not really take part in the defensive game where Peter had yesterday was really tough. He was bothering Bury a lot with brilliant safety shots. Full spin here, this cannot go wrong. <coughs> nice speed here, he stays close to the yellow, means, means that this little draw shot is not so difficult anymore. Could have been worse if the distance was greater. Still has to take care what the yellow does here. Don't play too thin. Has to be away here, the yellow. Yes, it is. And he makes the point nicely. Really good. Yellow just coming back to the center. Great chances of position here. Peter, full of experience. Not only in the defensive game, he's also a, a very nice, yeah, the snooker players would say break builder. He builds his run with position play and speed control. Very slow, this one. Maybe 
got a little bit too close to the yellow there. Looks like he has closed the angles a little bit. Sometimes it's better to score hitting thin on the last object ball. In this case it would have been. Looks like he's aiming for four cushion shot here. Maybe a little draw to take out the kiss. Stop the cue ball a little bit. Yes, technically more difficult than just rolling the ball. Nice shot. Does he get it? No. Again, difficult for Bury. Must have had some nightmares about Peter de Backer yesterday. But I know Bury, he, he wants a lot from himself. So he's probably not blaming Peter for the bad positions. He, he's normally only blaming himself if he doesn't make any points. It's a big part of the game, of course, the defense. Very thin hit here, but he hits it actually too thin. And if, if the yellow does not stop frozen to the cushion, this might be a good opportunity for Jakob to make some points. White ball is in a perfect position. Only little risk here is that the yellow goes twice across and disturbs the white. He took care of that nicely and played position. Yeah, this is bad luck, of course. Now he can't can't play anything here. Yeah, these things do happen. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if he can even play bank shot. Maybe bank shot, three cushions, and then yellow and white. It's looking like half masse here of the white terrible position yeah bail out here long long short maybe long cushion in the end as well yes this is looking nice yeah that was a good try kind of emergency emergency shot when nothing else goes really difficult to control this one Now I'm a little bit confused. Peter has the white ball, yes. He will have it for all the 24 sets. So I should learn that soon. And the orange ball is actually orange. If I said red, it's completely my fault. Nice shot there, but... Unfortunately, he was using the yellow ball. He should play with the white, of course. So, Buri has the yellow. And a good position. That was, that was a big mistake, of course, by Peter. We have seen that happen a couple of times more than in, in normal matches. Of course now, three cue balls, normally only two, so it should happen more. Left-handed here. This is looking long. Nice position here for Jakob, but his cue ball position is terrible. He only needs a little bit of English here, so the hit is very important. Needs to hit that yellow ball perfectly, and he does. Look at that, exactly 100% of the white ball. 
And that doesn't help for position. It was a perfect shot, but for position, he should have hit a little bit thinner on the white. Now pushing two balls the same way. Difficult now. Don't know. I don't think he can get this. Three cushion of the yellow. Maybe he tries to spin it. Yes, he spins it and now full spin in the short cushion and nothing in the long and he exaggerates it. Yeah, that was a miss on the professional side. Yeah, amazing how he could. Yeah, that was technically brilliant here. The ball has absolutely full spin and loses everything on the third cushion, exactly what he wanted to do, but too deep into the corner. Now Peter has found his own cue ball. Position is good, but not perfect. Just a little bit of English. Easy to give too much there with a the full hit on the orange. <coughs> Puri. French number one, world ranking, oops, I don't really know. What's his world ranking? Seven, eight, I have, no, I, I have to let somebody check that for me. But of course, what I wanted to say is that he is by far the highest ranked player in this match. Of course, favorite, but it is a tough group. And this is a bad mistake, not really close. Yeah, what do you play here? I don't like this thin hit on the white. Not that, not that I can't hit, hit that ball, but I don't really know where the white is going. Does it go away? It does, but yeah, he needed a thinner hit, so could have been a problem to get away the, get the kiss away with a, with a correct hit. The backer here with a nice four cushion shot off the orange. Long, short, long, and to the other long cushion. Looking a little short. Seems to have lost a little bit of his composure there since he, since the moment he took the wrong cue ball. Little stumble there by the Frenchman. This is not a nice position. Three balls in a line normally means bad news. But if you can see orange, yes, at least there is a chance for this shot. Very well played. That was a nice, nice example of good understanding of this game. Didn't get lucky though. Very bad position this here. Orange frozen. Finn on the white and tried to steal the cushion. Just before hitting orange. Yeah, that's what he's going to try. This looks like a good try. Yeah. Wonderful shot. And I guess, 
I guess we will have perfect position. What a shot this is. Not much long cushion to work with there. Yeah, perfect position. This can be. This can be the set. Yes, I'm much ahead of myself here, but this is such a fantastic position. Not the best of caroms on orange, but still, still in pretty good shape here. It's always nice to get a very good position like that in, in your second or third point in a run. You can settle down and really start building up your run. Here he needs a little draw, it's not, not super easy. Well played, and he, I think he could hold the speed that the white does not go all the way down to the short cushion. That would mean that he loses the position. Yeah, he lost much of the position. But still, four points here. Sørensen playing after him, so... Is there, a, is there a defensive shot of orange here? I'm not so sure. Ah, he's going to try the five cushion here and might get away with some kind of defense. It is a difficult point. He might make it, of course. Looks to be in an okay line. Very close. Yeah, he couldn't couldn't really hold down the speed of the orange. But still, this is a very difficult point. Three cushion here of the yellow with a little bit of reverse. No, it's going to be something else. Seven cushions, very thin. No, wrong cushion there. and gets away with it. This is nothing at all for Peter. But <laughs> there should be a chance to play safe here because cue ball of Bury is frozen or almost frozen. Cross table shot did not look very easy because that kiss was always going to be there. <clears throat> Options here for Bury. He can play orange, left side. Three cushions, yeah. And he can also play white. This is difficult queuing here with the cue ball so close to the cushion. Very good hit. And that is so important where that orange ball stops. Maybe still possible to play natural on the inside, on the left side of the orange. Yeah, it looks, looks playable. Yes, of course it is. Just a little draw here to avoid the curve. Yeah, perfectly played. 
and just sends, sends the orange ball around the angles. Looks like it stopped in a nice position. Left-handed now, off off the orange, probably. Of course, he could go for could go for thin hit on the white ball, but I think this is the way to play. Perfect. I think that worked out fine. I think he still has a three cushion here off the white. Ah, might be difficult. Might have to masse this one a little bit. And then it becomes a different shot. Not at all easy then. He's going to play a Dick, Dick Jasper shot here. Orange ball, right side, right English, short, long, short. Nothing easy about that, but he is, he is a good player for these shots. And this is now set point to extend his lead. Doesn't look like he has a five cushion here or a six cushion, maybe very, very thin. It has to be so thin. Oh, maybe even three cushions directly with some extra speed. <clears throat> he goes the other way, long, long, short. Yeah, nice shot. Just in the last seconds. Takes the set, extends his lead. He now has five sets. Peter de Bakker three and Jakob Pax Sørensen one. Good break shot here from Peter. Almost perfect. I 
I think he can go now natural shot, long short long, almost no English. And try to bring orange back to the center. Or back to that side where the two other balls are. Could have gone a little bit further, orange. Still okay. Thin, thinner than normal here to avoid the kiss. Perfectly controlled. His cue ball now stayed in the corner. That is not good because now everything becomes very complicated. I don't think there is a draw shot anymore of the yellow. Oh, he went for the double the rail shot really close. Jakob's cue ball here, very close to the cushion, but I don't think it's so important for this shot because it's pretty, pretty straightforward. No English, long, short, long. He saw the same that I saw. Good margins there play for half ball and you can hit a little bit more doesn't really matter doesn't change much one more shot without english maybe white ball right side yeah probably he needs reverse so he doesn't like it Yeah, uh, he talked to his cue ball there. Where are you going? Too much yellow ball he hit, but he did put it in the short cushion now, so Burry has to work for this point. Extreme queuing here with his hand very far away from the table. Makes a great shot. Pretty easy shot, but with, with that cue ball position, all shots become more difficult, of course. Also very much depending on the table, because I, I, I came to a tournament once and there was a table and the cushions, the, the wood on the cushion was like one centimeter higher than the, the rubber cushion. So when you had the cue ball to the cushion, you're, you're, you were queuing down on the ball and, and it was extremely difficult to hit balls far away with, with English. So the construction of the table is, yeah, can be better or worse. Peter here with a nice bank shot. Looks very tempting to play this, but it is, it is 
pretty close to the corner, the second and the third cushion. So for me, at least, it makes makes them a little bit more difficult the, the closer you have to hit that corner. A little short, this one. Yeah, not even, not really close. Not so easy, those shots. He gets away with it. He freezes the white. Not so lucky, Jakob. What is there to play here? Cross table shot, maybe? Yellow ball first, even white ball first, maybe. Some kisses are there. Yeah, goes for another shot. Very, very difficult, short, long, short. If I didn't mention it yesterday, Jakob is also very strong at these shots. Maybe you have noticed. It's so difficult that white so close to the cushion. <laughs> this is much nicer position. Full ball here to prevent the yellow from hitting the white. And all the spin that you can get into the cue ball. Perfect shot and position. This is nice. A little bit lucky, of course, how we hit the white, but speed was good, so the chances were also very good for that. Very important shot, this one. The kind of shots you expect these players to make. Slowly, slowly, hoping for a thin hit on the yellow. He didn't get it. No problems. <coughs> you just want to hit that little bit on the side. He opens up, opens up the, the position completely. So now he probably has to draw draw back to the long cushion on his right side. Yellow maybe behind, between white and cushion. Yes, it did. Yep. Nice shot. If we get a replay, we will see very close to the kiss. Well done. Like going slalom style between the balls. Not exactly dream position after that, but he has a nice run of four, has taken the lead in this set. Cushion first here. Too thin. Of course he was worried that the white might hit the yellow. Good chance for Burry. I don't know if he's going to spin this one or just play it flat with no English. Looks like both ways are possible. Looks like he's spinning the cue ball. Yes, he is. Just a little bit of draw. Good shot. He did not take the speed down. Now he risks that both balls go the same way. Could have played it softer, but it makes the shot so much more difficult. Still open though, this three cushion of orange. Yeah, this is not a bad position. You just need to read read the table and read the position close to close to no english here just a little bit of right side
Yeah, he hit too much of that orange ball. That that increases the amount of English. Uh, let me explain that better. You just put, let's say you, you play one tip of English and you hit full ball. That means your cue ball will, will get more, more spin. And that is what happened here. You even saw a little curve before the first cushion. And then cue ball stops, makes a curve and starts spinning more than you actually wanted. That is what happens. And on the other hand, when you hit a ball thin, the amount of spin you put in the cue ball will be reduced. So all these things you have to take into consideration. And many times that is why you miss a point because you hit wrong and that changes the rotation of your cue ball. Very nice three cushion from Peter here. Good speed. Now he's not too far away from this, so this should be very possible. Oh, this is a nice double hit. Look at this. He comes out perfectly for position. Yeah, maximum English there, very thin. Tries to keep position. Has he made it? Yes. And I think he kept position. Anyway, if he can't play on the inside, he can go on the outside, so... Looks like he's trying inside. Ah. You have to be sure. You have to be sure that it works. Otherwise, if you're not sure, you have to play the other shot. Yeah, he goes for this one. Right side English, one, one and a half tip maybe. Still need a good hit. I don't think he got it. Did he get it? Yes, he does. Good shot. Good decision there to go on the outside. Good chances for position as well. Yellow was just a little bit short. A little bit closer to the long cushion. It's it's a very good position now. Still some work to be done. Yeah, great shot. That orange ball was not in the most beautiful of positions. I think he played that with extra English. It's like like playing for the corner, but put a little bit extra English and then you make it a little bit longer than the corner. That might have been his, his thinking there. <laughs> playing for two now. This is a very strong, very competitive group. It, I think it's going to be a very, very tough match until the end. He got the corner there and I'm not sure if he wanted to pass the kiss on that side, but we will never know. The interview is going to be six sets later, so that point is maybe forgotten by then. Jakob still in with a good chance here in this set. This is not a good position though. You need to play short long and then take the long cushion just before the yellow. Very good shot. Jakob is one of many good Danish players. Dion Nelin, Tony Carlsen, Jakob Axörens and Brian Knudsen, many others. Denmark is a very strong billiard country, not only not only three cushion, also also 
five pins, they have many good pool players. Q sports are very popular in Denmark. Here he needs a cushion there before the white, so difficult. Puri taking a look here, what can we play? Right side of white. Right side English and then two cushions behind orange. Angle is pretty okay, he doesn't need to go very deep in his cue ball here, which helps a little bit. Good shot, but Almost too close to the corner, but he gets it. Nice. <clears throat> nice image there. He, he was a little bit worried that he's not going to get the point. Trying to catch up here in this set. Full hit on the white now. Easy to forget the white. You get a kiss immediately. Yeah, he plays this nicely. Yeah, this is the time when when the viewers can start betting what he's going to play here, because I have no idea. It's not possible to play left side orange, I think. And white ball does not offer many good solutions. Is he going cushion first? Looks like it. Yeah, this is a nice idea. Gets a kiss. Unlucky. And that is lucky. Impossible to control this kiss here, of course. He gets a little one and makes the point. And I think this is a nice position too. This is the kind of positions where you ask yourself, do I have to do anything at all or just just shoot? Any hit on the on the left side of white might give you the point. No, he says, no, I'm going to go for the queuing shot. Draw shot here, slight draw, full spin. Yeah, that is great shot again. And now he gets good position. Requires a very thin hit on the white though, so it is a good position, but you need that perfect hit on the white. Which, by the way, is one of the strengths of Jeremy Burry. Very good queuing. Only looking at the object ball. He doesn't look at all on the cue ball. Playing for three now. Difficult choice. Similar shots of both balls. Probably white will be very difficult because of the big gap there between orange and cushion. I don't think he can get the three cushion off the white and the four cushion maybe it's impossible too, so has to play orange. Extra thin maybe to avoid the kiss. 
Yeah, slow down the orange ball. Well done. Nice, nice run of six and almost perfect position. I guess he's going to play left side of white here. Yes, he is. He can't play this one slowly. I think. I think he. I think he needs to. Yeah, draw or use a lot of speed to get this one short enough. Takes a timeout. Did he have one? Yeah, the last. The last. The other timeout he took was in the first set, or in the ninth set. This is set number 10, and there is always a five minute break after each two sets. So after this one, we will have a little break. But first of all, we have to finish it. Can Buri make eight and out here? Such an important set for him, if he could win this and take the lead by three sets. Draw shot here. Set. Yeah, well done. And this is already looking good. But in the end, turned out he still has to work a little bit for this point. I like I like the five cushion bank shot here actually. Kind of escapism, of course. I don't like this four cushion and I don't like the draw shot of the white. I don't like the draw shot of the orange. But the four cushion here is maybe the most sober solution, but far away. And this is a fantastic chance for the backer. Oops. Puri giving away a present here. Has to stun this a little bit, I think. This is it going to be short by itself? Yes it is. So he saw that perfectly. Didn't need to do anything for that point. Could concentrate on position play. A little bit unlucky how he hit the yellow, but still very possible here. Thin hit, rather thin hit on orange. And here we have another lucky shot. <laughs> Unbelievable, he makes, he flukes the set. Okay, good for him. We will take a break while we Take a look at the replay here. How to finish a set with a fluke. See you in five. <laughs> 